Good morning YouTube and welcome to day three of Melbourne. Today we're going to be checking out the Sea Life Centre and tonight is the night that Chloe and Linda are going to see Hamilton live. Uh, the kids left their public transport card in the room so I had to come all the way back up and get it. I'm not going to tell you which kid though. The Melbourne Sea Life Aquarium is located in the middle of the city, near Southern Cross Station and the Crown Casino. It's been a long road getting here. Oh, hello. 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 They have these cool viewing bubbles that put you right in the middle of the tank. Harry! Harry! Hello! Hey, mate! He is so friendly! Look at him! So this is a shark's egg. They get this weird spiral shape when the mother screws the eggs into rock crevices to keep them anchored against drift. Some tendrils provide extra support. This touching pool allows you to get really close and personal with the sea creatures. So that bumpiness, that spikiness on the top is making the sea. There are multiple zones in the ocean. The sunlight zone, near the surface, is where 90% of marine life lives. The twilight zone is where life must be able to survive in low light. And the midnight zone comprises 90% of the ocean, with high pressure and freezing temperatures. Below that are the abyssal and haddle zones, where trenches can go deeper than Mount Everest is tall. I'm surprised by how small the clownfish were. This is a prehistoric megalodon, the largest predator ever. The white spotted lagoon jellyfish has oral arms covered in mouth-like openings. They constantly filter the water for food as they swim. Like most animal attractions in Australia, Melbourne Aquarium are interested in conservation and research. They have a jellyfish research lab, much like SeaWorld. Aquariums just seem to love studying the jellies. The star attraction of Melbourne Sea Life is a massive tank that you can walk through. It's made with acrylic walls that are 260 millimetres thick. The sharks in this tank are born in captivity, so they've got a bit of a reduced instinct for hunting. Plus, they feed them really well, so they won't get hungry and try and eat the other fish.
can't get over the size of these rays. I've been to a few aquariums, but I don't think I've ever seen any this big. They're massive. There's meant to be a saltwater crocodile in here, but apparently he's very still and I can't see him. We found him. The artificial rain in here is kind of matching the real rain outside today. and easy and we're hungry. So the media keep talking about these emergency heavy rains and flash floods mm. but nothing much is going on here in Melbourne. So Chloe and I are getting ready to go to the theatre. We're gonna get there a little bit early and the weather is still pretty calm. Apparently it is gonna like rain quite heavily from like five or six but be stopped by eight so anyway we're gonna air on sort of caution and get an uber get to the theater early and pray it all works out see it's not raining and I just want to point out that while we've kind of been making a bit of fun of the Victorian idea of heavy rain, we are taking things seriously. We've got the Emergency Vic app on our phone and we are paying attention to it. It's supposed to be pretty heavy uh, between 5 and 7 tonight and there is risk of flash flooding in Melbourne. So we are taking precautions and, you know, we're being sensible. Well, it started 50 minutes later than anticipated and certainly not what I consider a super heavy rain, but enough to be annoying. Well, the rain has died down a little bit and it's almost six o'clock, so we're gonna brave the weather and find something to eat while the girls are enjoying their time out. Oh.
Looks like the food court's open, so we're gonna get our snitties. That's what I'm talking about. So that is the most ridiculous thing I have ever heard. A restaurant that closes at meal time. So no snitties for us. We've come all the way to Melbourne and we're not gonna get our snitzels. I think this might be our option. intermission it's such a good show wish we could show you guys but trust us the Aussies are good all right so the next step in boys night is we're gonna go swimming While nothing exciting is happening with the weather here in Melbourne, looking at Facebook, I noticed that back home in Tassie, they're opening an evacuation centre in Newnham and they've closed Meadow Park Road. So, stuff's happening there. You're back! <laughs> we got a bit wet. Yep, but you had a good time. <laughs> Our way. That's the little guidebook. Mm-hmm. Probably about eighty percent photos, but oh, nice. she's oh, good. She was fine, Jolly. Yeah, right? she's good. Who was she? Um, yeah. If you have a look, oh, where is she? This lady here. I can find her. The original Peggy actually played Eliza tonight. So this lady must be on holidays. Mm -hmm. He's good. He was our Hamilton. He was our Hamilton. He's on holidays as well. So one of the swings took his role and he's so good. He was doing his role. Was mm -hmm. he? What's a different guy? I, I think that was him. Yep. Yeah, so she played that role tonight. Okay. And she she had me crying. Oh, okay. Cool. I didn't know we had that. <laughs> ah. All the merchandise, etc. That was for free. <laughs> who lives? Who dies? The one thing that Chloe has asked for since we booked for this trip. This. <laughs> you don't want to know how much it costs, but trust me, she will wear it. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's another day in Melbourne for you. One more full day left before we go home. See what happens then. Next